Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the longest common subsequence problem. So, longest common subsequence uh, for understanding the, <coughs> the longest common subsequence, let us first try to understand what the subsequence is. For example, if I have this string happy, so a subsequence of this string may be first the, all the substrings, so h, h a, h a p, h a double p. H A P P Y. Similarly, A A P A P P A P P Y. Similarly, if I start with P, so P P and P P Y. And then if I again start with the second P, so P Y because P has already been taken here. So these are the substrings and many substrings are also possible. If you start with A, you will find out something. Now <clears throat> the subsequence means you take H, you take P, you take Y. So this is the sub uh, subsequence. Subsequence means I have taken this and then this and then this. So in the sequence I can skip some of the characters in between. For example, I am taking another one. Let's say I start with H and then I take this P and I take this P, H, P, P and then I take Y. So in between I have left this A. Similarly, I can start with A, so A and then P and then Y. So I have taken this A, I have skipped this P and then taken this P and then taken this Y. So this is the subsequence. So now if I have been given two strings and I have to find out the subsequence of uh, or the longest common subsequence of both the strings. So let us see how can we find those. Let's say the strings are first string is actual and the second string is fractional okay so to find out the uh, longest common substring the a there is there is a match then there is c there is a match then t there is a match then a there is a match and l there is a match so the a c t a l is the longest common subsequence okay so to find out uh, this uh, I will employ a dynamic programming solution I will design a dynamic programming solution and this will be a 2d dynamic programming solution 2d dynamic programming solution means the method that I am employing will require a two-dimensional memorization table okay it will be of a matrix type so let's say this is string number one and let's say this is string number two Fine. We can take uh, a string number one on the row side and a string number two on the column side or vice versa can also be taken. It up, it's up to you how do you want to take this. Now suppose that uh, the first string is taken on the row side. So first string has a character A, C, T, U, A and L. Second string has a character F, R, A, C, T, I, O, N, A, and L. Fine. From our side, that we are considering that there is a space as a first character in the first string and a space as a first character in the second string. Let us mark the row numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 on the column side. So when we are making the table, we are taking additional row and the additional column and this we were doing for every dynamic programming solutions. There is a need for uh, this extra row and extra column just to apply the formula correctly. Now suppose we have a space as a first character in the first string and we have a space as a first character in the second string also. So obviously if there is a blank in the first string, if there is a blank in the second string, the length of the longest common subsequence will be 0. Okay? And if we have a blank in the first as a first character in the second string, whatever be the uh, characters in the first string, 
the length of the common subsequence will be 0. Similarly, if the first string has a space as a character, only space as a character, and if the second string is having one character f or fr or fra or frac, the length of the common substring will be 0. That means this table needs to have its first row and the first column be set as 0. Now after this, let's say there is a match of the character. Okay. Now let us do one by one, then we will discuss what are the different cases here for filling up the entries in this table. So the entries in this table will be telling us that what is the length of the substring or subsequence. So A and F. When we found a match between A and F, there is no match. So if there is no match, then I will find out this entry and this entry. I am filling up this entry. So I am re referring to this or this. I will find out the maximum of these two. So 0 and 0, maximum is 0. And this has been set as 0. So why did we find out the maximum of these two? It may so happen that we have taken a bigger string in the second and a smaller string in the first. And the common match between those may be this one. Or the common match will be this one. So on the row side or on the column side, whatever is the maximum value we have found, we will consider that as the length of the substring, uh, subsequence. Okay. Similarly for this, it will be 0 because there is no match. Now A and A has a match. Since A and A has a match, I will take a value from the diagonal and will increment that by 1. So diagonal entry is 0 and I will do plus 1 to this. So now A and C are compared. What we are considering that we have a bigger second string and we have only A in the first string. Okay. So the A and A has already got a match. Now F R A C or F R A C, A has already matched. Although A is not matching, but the length of the common subsequence is 1 because one character is matched earlier. So I am taking the maximum of this one and this one and updating this value. So out of 1 and 0, 1 is the maximum. A and T will not match. So I will take maximum of this one and this one. A and I will not match. I will take maximum of this one and this one, 1. A and O does not have a match. A and N does not have a match. So maximum 1 and 0. Now A and A has a match. Since A and A has a match, so diagonal value plus 1. So diagonal value was 0, plus 1, 1 has been set here. Okay. Now A and uh, for A and L does not have a match. So maximum of 1 and 0 would be 1. Now see. There is a C character. Now we have A and C both in the first string. And now we are considering the second string. We are considering that F is the only character in the second string. So C and A does not have a match. So maximum of this one and this one is 0. And then C and R does not have a match. So C and R does not have a match, 0. C and A does not have a match. Maximum of 0 and 1 is 1. C and C has a match. So diagonal value plus 1. So you see that A, C has matched. A and C has a match. So C and T does not have a match. So 2 and 1, maximum is 2. C and I. C and O, maximum of 2 and 1. C and N, no match. So maximum of this one and this one. C and A, maximum of this one and this one. C and L, maximum of this one and this one. Now we are considering that in the first string we have A, C, T all. And now we will be considering the second string. So T and F, no match. So maximum of this one and this one, 0. And then T and R, no match. T and A, there is a match. So maximum of this one and this one is 1. T and C, no match. Maximum of this one and this one, 2. T and T, yes, there is a match. So diagonal value, plus 1. So 3 is the value that has been updated. Now after this, A and T. T and I, no match, maximum. T and O, no match, maximum. T and N, no match, maximum. T and A, no match, maximum. T and L, no match, maximum. Now U. U does not have a match with F. So maximum of this one and this one is 0. 
U and R does not have a match. U and A does not have a match. U and C does not have a match. Maximum is 2. U and D does not have a match. Maximum of 2 and 3 is 3. U and I does not have a match. Maximum of 3 and 3. U, of, U and O does not have a match. Maximum of 3 and 3. U and N does not have a match. Maximum. A does not have a match. L also does not have a match. Now after this, A is compared with F. No match. Maximum. A and R does not have a match. Maximum. Now A and A has a match. Since A and A has a match, I will take a diagonal value and will update counted by 1. So 0 plus 1 is 2. Now A and C does not have a match. Maximum. A and T does not have a match. Maximum. A and I does not have a match. Maximum. A and O does not have a match. Maximum. A and N does not have a match. Maximum. Now A and A has a match. So diagonal value plus 1. So this is 4. And then A and L does not have a match. Maximum of these two will be 4. After this, the L. L and F does not have a match. 0. L and R does not have a match. Maximum. L and A does not have a match. Maximum of 0 and 1 is 1. L and C does not have a match. L and T does not have a match. So maximum of 2 and 3 is 3. L and I does not have a match. Maximum of 3 and 3. L and O, maximum. L and N, no match. Sorry. Uh, no, uh, L and E does not have a match. Maximum is 4. Now, L and L has a match. Since L and L has a match, so maximum of 4 and 4, uh, sorry, uh, the diagonal value plus 1, that is 5. So the table has ended and this entry as the corner will be the length of the longest common subsequence. If you need to find out what are the characters which has been taken, so you just see that uh, this is the maximum value and this value has been updated because of this character. Diagonally up. So L is selected as a substring character, subsequence character. Now this 4 has been updated because of this diagonal value. So this has been included in the subsequence. Sub and then this 3 has not been updated. We are getting it from here. Okay. Or this 3 has been obtained from 2 and 3 maximum. So this has been obtained from here. Now this 3 has been updated because of this diagonal value. So 2 plus 1, 3. So this, before going to the diagonally up, we are including this character that is t. So t is included in the sub subsequence. Now this 2 has got updated because of this diagonal value. So before moving diagonally up, I am actually considering that c has also been considered as a substring character. Now this 1 has got updated because of this 0. So before going diagonally up, we are including this character also. So a, c, t, a, l is the character. Uh, is the subsequence A C T A L is the subsequence that we have considered. Now let us try to write the algorithm for the same. Uh, algorithm is pretty straightforward. Whatever procedure that we have applied will be the, will will actually be written in the form of the algorithm. So this is longest common subsequence. Let's say L C S is the uh, name of the algorithm. And uh, we have taken two strings here. One is str1 and let's say str2 is the second string. Let's say the length of the first string is m and the length of the second string is n. For finding out the longest common subsequence, we need to have a table and that table has a size m plus 1 and n plus 1. We need an additional row and the column in every problem related to the dynamic programming, 2D, 2D problems related to the dynamic programming, we are considering an extra row and extra column. All the entries of uh, this table can be set as 0 because we need to set the first row and the first column as 0 and rest of the entries, if they are, those are also set as 0, that does not cost us any. Now after this we need to uh, find out the entries of this table based on the match or mismatch. 
So since we have to find out all the entries of the table, I need to take a nested loop for i equals to 1 to m do on the row side we are considering n and for j equals to 1 to n do on the column side we are considering that there is n columns n plus 1 columns okay and i is a counter towards the row and j is the counter towards the column i'm going to make a match between the different characters of the string so if str 1i has a match with str 2j, it means the characters have a match. In case the characters have a match, the table ij entry will be updated as ti minus 1, j minus 1, plus 1. It means diagonal entry plus 1. Whatever is the diagonal entry, plus 1 is the new value for tij. If there is no match, since the, if there is no match, then we will be finding out the maximum of, let's say I'm trying to find out this one. So for finding out this one, maximum of this one and this one. If this is ij, this entry is i minus 1j and this entry is i, uh, i sorry, this entry will be i j minus 1. Same row, one less column. And this entry is one previous column, same same column. One previous row, same column. So i minus 1j. So I'm trying to find out the maximum of i minus 1j and t i j minus 1. So you find out the maximum of these two, these two, and set as t i j. Having done this, uh, having found all these entries of the table, you will have the length of the longest common subsequence at the last row, last column entry in the table. So you return the length of the longest common subsequence value at tm, sorry, tm, n. Okay. So this is the longest common subsequence. So this, since this is an algorithm, I need to apply a keyword algorithm here. A begin and an end here. Thank you.